the second channel, man, and the beat from the intro is provided by Poly Two Times. There's a link in the description below that's gonna take you to downloadpass.com. From there, you can find this particular beat tape because I'm live streaming it and get the contact information via Twitter. And if you holler out and get some beats, tell them I sent you. But anyway, on to today's reply. And today's reply is to a short EP mixtape done by Chevy Woods called that South by Southwest I Love Texas. And you know, when I looked at this and the track listing, I'm like, this could be pretty fucking interesting. I thought maybe he would go and take inspiration from each individual city and make his own song based off of that, but realize that not to be true when you see that he only got one producer for this entire project. A lot of people don't realize that San Antonio, Houston, Dallas, Fort Worth, all of these places, Austin, they all have their own different sound, you dig? Really, only Houston got big like that, man, but they all have their own. But sadly, he doesn't do that, man. Really, it's just him shouting out these individual places. Even though the EP does have a southern feel to it, but yet the reason for that, man, is because the producers from Pittsburgh, in which Pittsburgh has a lot of Louisiana to Houston type influences, man, as well as New York as well. Now, overall, as a project, man, I really couldn't get with it. Like, there was only one song on here that I was like, that's cool, which was that San Antonio, but yet that song sounds like a fucking Drake song. I mean, it definitely seems as though the days of the cookout mixtape from Chevy Woods, those days are fucking over. He's looking for the next sound that he wants to kick out there. It's just sadly, this one isn't it. I am happy he's going away from the commercial trap music and shit, man. But I don't believe he's found the next sound to go after yet. That fits him the best. I mean, the quality just isn't here, man. And I definitely recommend people to go ahead and skip past this. But anyway, on to ask, download pass. And Nathaniel says that from an engineering standpoint, point this Kendrick Lamar album is a masterpiece and you know I can't deny that I mean and I kind of come into this type of shit expecting that seeing as though he is a mainstream budgeted type artist and he fucks with Dre that's what Dr. Dre does engineering he is on the short list of best to fucking do it period you can have great sounding songs man but that doesn't mean that the songs are good there's a bunch of rappers out here that go to the best and fanciest fucking studios get some really good engineers to mix down the fucking garbage and fit plug says that this year music has been pretty shitty and i can't go along with that you did i mean even though a lot of the top names have pretty much disappointed in big sean in drake in kendrick lamar but there still was some solid fucking albums as far as Lupe Fiasco, as far as Zero. Then we got Luda and Wale dropping at the end of the month, man. And there's been a ton of really good singles to drop that's showing that there's a bunch of projects that could be dope. I hope you enjoyed the show. You can follow me at Twitter up there. And you can go to downloadpass.com. That's down there to read today's article.